Welcome. All right, so what I have here is I have a set of parallel lines, and it looks like I have two transversals. Now, when we're talking about angular relationships, we only need one transversal. So what I need to do is get rid of the extra information that is just going to confuse me for this problem. I only need one transversal. So I look at my two angles, and I see the angles are related on this transversal. I know not always you can just erase the other transversal, but maybe you might want to cover it up. Um, because when looking at this problem, all I'm concerned about are these parallel lines and this transversal. Now the next thing I want to do is be able to identify what type of angle relationship I have. Um, we notice that both of these angles are on the interior of the parallel lines. And I also notice of the transversal, they're not on the same side. So they can't be same side interior. The only other one that were both interior was alternating interior. Those are on opposite sides. So I'm going to write that down. Alternating interior. All right. Now, alternating interior angles, uh, we need to be able to say, remember, all right, how do they relate to each other when we have parallel lines? Well, alternating, um, alternate interior angles are equal in measure. So if I want to solve for x in this problem, what I need to do is set them equal to each other. So I can say 8x is equal to 5x plus 15. Now, all I simply need to do is go ahead and solve. So I'll subtract 5x. And I have 3x equals 15. Divide by 3. Divide by 3. x equals 5. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you use alternate interior angles and parallel lines to help solve for your missing variable. Thanks.